the cutting uh, disc was just a little large. I don't think that's going to matter for my purposes. Um, I might make a little 3D printed spacer or something around that just to give it a tight fit. But the plan here is actually to mount it. Um, just mount it in here so like this um, have the USB and unzoom a little bit. Um, have that sitting there. Uh, the USB cable will come out here and just sort of drape into the box and everything else will be sitting in there. So um, I think what I might do is just mm, not 100% sure. I'll, I'll build a bracket of some description here. Um, but next job is to make a hole down here somewhere for our ethernet. So I've done another print, which was another two and a half hours. Changed the strategy a little this time. Um, so it didn't put anything in the middle um, this time. And I'll remove these supports in a, in a moment, but I also remember to put the holes through for their screws. Uh -huh. So that is cleaned up. Uh, I've left the raft on for the moment just because I've got to clean up quite a bit more. So um, this time it fits. There's a little bit of wiggle room but given this is just going to be supported up under the uh, hole. Um, uh, I'm not too fast uh, th th if there's a little bit of movement. So. Okay, that was a lot of effort for very little return. Um, okay, I'll snip these up a little tighter, but that's the general gist now of how that's going to mount.
Okay. Well, it's not going to help much on this dome <laughs> because it's being a little bit blocked by the uh, the flange, but it won't be an issue on the six inch or five inch uh, domes that uh, that arrive. I'll get the electronics put in the box. Um, just fire up the software, make sure it works. Just put that little bit of tape, just because the hole's just a tiny bit oversized. So, and just add a little bit of snugness there. Yeah, just makes all the difference. Okay, so. Raspberry Pi gets its powered Ethernet. Okay. So I've got the USB cable plugged in um, to the camera. USB is into the Raspberry Pi. Ethernet through there. And We'll plug that into the wall and fire it up and see what happens. So this is the uh, All Sky camera in action for real. It's uh, obviously cloudy, which is just annoying. Um, it's so it's quite glowy as well at the moment because of the amount of. Um, the amount of light pollution here in Warrandyte is a Bortle Class 5. So um, it's not looking very good. Um, just going to the admin of the device. Uh, it's worth having a look here that the temperature is hovering at about 59 degrees. Uh, CPU temperature, so hopefully that'll help um, with the heat rising up into uh, into the little dome to to keep the everything warm. Um, so that's good. I did shoot some revised dark frames, which have got rid of that banding that I was having yesterday. Um, it's still not perfect. Uh, but uh, I don't really know the best way to get new dark frames uh, at this point. I can't quite calibrate them. It's not a cooled camera, so I can only just go with uh, whatever it comes up with. So it's worth noting that at the moment, uh, unlike the last few days, the, uh, the dew is not forming tonight. It's kind of warm at the moment it's only 16 degrees uh, but if i look back um, uh, sort of uh, yesterday where are we uh, the last few days at night the the dew has really kicked in early and uh, so sort of there all the way through here so it's been quite dense um, so I guess we'll have a look tonight and see if that happens, uh, how well it copes. I did put um, on the dome itself, I put some, uh, I guess, some polish that I would use on a car windscreen. Um, so it, it's supposed to help with uh, filling in some of the scratches, firstly, uh, and hopefully it will repel some of the rain. Um, if that doesn't work quite well when that happens, I'll, um, I will have another look um, and see if I can um, use like BrainX or something like that.